I want to take you back to when you're growing up. Explain how you had a revelation about your future career during a class essay writing assignment. Well, uh, in in uh, school, we had always, you know, there was like music one day, and then there was uh, guest speakers another day, and then there was documentaries that they would show, and it was usually so like uh, eight millimeter documentaries, uh, black and white. And um, I remember that I saw on the screen, you know, uh, footage of New York and uh, the high rises and by a state building. I saw, you know, the, 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 the highways and freeways and the bridges and everything seemed to me so huge. It was like gigantic. I mean, in Austria, when you live in this little village, uh, you know, you see everything little, little bridges, little cars, little four-cylinder cars, you know, one-cylinder motorcycles and mopeds and stuff like that. But there it was the Harley Davidson, the huge motorcycle, the huge Cadillacs with the wings and all this stuff. So everything was just gigantic. And um, I just fell in love with that and I said to myself, I got to get to America. But I always, for some reason or the other, felt that I was in the wrong place. Why? I always, I always felt out of place in Austria. I felt kind of like, um, I mean, it was a beautiful country and everything, but it was kind of like I felt like it's too little for me. Um, I was much more attracted to America. I felt that, you know, maybe. E even at an early age? At a very early age, yes. Yeah. So it was almost kind of like, uh, it was one of those weird things, you know, this. Maybe I'm I'm the child of some American soldier of some sort. You know, there was something some something going on. You know, that somehow I, I belonged to America, and um, so I don't know why, but that's just the way it was. And um, and so I had this urge of coming to America. So I just couldn't figure out how, and so that's why I think I started with bodybuilding also because it was a very American sport, and I felt like, well, you know, if I really do well in bodybuilding. And if I could become like one of those guys, like Steve Reeves or Reg Park, then I will be eventually invited to come to America and compete over there or whatever, the movies, or whatever. I had my own little fantasy. So there was always ways that I had to figure out how can I get to America? Well, bodybuilding eventually was the way to take it to America. Describe the significance of getting the telegram from Joe Weider. Well, I... I um, I won a Mr. You know, like I said, junior Mr. Europe. Then I won Mr. Europe the next year. Then I came second in the Mr. Universe competition. I was run up with the age of 19. Then I became Mr. Universe, the youngest Mr. Universe, with the age of 20. And then Joe Weider started putting me on the cover of his magazines. And I've heard from uh, friends of mine uh, in England that he has been acquiring about and trying to get information about me. And should he bring me over to America and, and all that? I said to myself, this is really great. I mean, this is the publisher of all the magazines around the world that get translated in all these different languages. We had it in Austria and in Germany also, at the Weider magazine in German. And uh, That was kind of the Bible of yeah, bodybuilding. Yeah, it was the Bible of bodybuilding. It was the, the, the magazine, you know? So I felt like, this is really great. This guy is trying to get information about me and he wants to bring me over. I said, this could really work. I mean, my plan, my master plan is uh, becoming a reality. And um, sure enough, with the age of 21, when I won the second Mr. Universe title, all of a sudden I got a telegram. And uh, the telegram was just basically said, we want to welcome you and uh, you know, invite you and, and welcome you in America at the Mr. Universe contest in Florida, which is next week. So I said to myself, this is fantastic. So I uh, got you know, everyone to help so I can get the visa as quickly as possible and then come to America and compete in America at the Mr. Universe competition. And I knew when I packed my gym bag in Munich, where I was living at the time, uh, that I would never come back. This apartment would never see me again. You knew and, it. Uh, so, yeah, I knew it. Yeah. So I packed my gym bag. Just had very little in there. Just you know, few little things that you need for a few days of traveling to England, and um, um, and I just had that bag, 
continued on to, to the United States, never went back and uh, stayed there and never came back to, the, uh, to Europe, only on visits and, uh, and, and working on movies and stuff like that, but not really moving back.